City Manager for the City of U Harley. We are hosting our sixth annual KCBS sanctioned Covered Bridge Cook-Off this weekend in beautiful downtown U Harley, Georgia. Uh, as our sixth competition, we've had several, uh, several experiences to make this run as smooth as clockwork, and it has been. We're always really thankful to have the teams that uh, come in every year. This year we have 42 cook teams, we have 46 vendors. Um, our festival offers something for everyone. Um, basically, why we do this is to get people familiar with our uh, location. Uh, we like people coming down to our covered bridge, which is the oldest covered bridge in the state of Georgia. And uh, we hope everybody's going to come back, uh, visit us again, and um, we're a great uh, day destination tour. Have a great day. What do you think it does me? There you go. <laughs> hey, my nose. I got a dip on my nose. Please, please. Okay. Okay, I felt bad today. She's still on the night. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. Well, um, yeah, because we have. So that's worth the money. Hmm. Nope. Okay. 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 Okay.
Howdy, howdy. Don't put so much in that it's gonna, I gotta walk, remember that. Right, I'm just, I wanna put enough, uh, that should be I'm enough for six judges. We had a great turn in on chicken. Uh, the first one I bit into was absolutely some of the best I've ever had. It was bite through on both sides, cooked perfectly, uh, worthy of uh, a grand. Uh, we did have a leg that was cooked absolutely uh, terrific. You know, it uh, wasn't overcooked or anything. The third one was another fantastic, you know, piece of chicken. First time I've received a small quantity of a breast that was almost there. It was, it was terrifically, a little bit on the hot side, just a tab overcooked. The uh, fifth entry was picked it up. And when the bone falls out, then you know it's got to be overcooked. Uh, and the other, uh, the, of course, the last entry was another good one. It was you know, smoked nice, had some nice flavor to it, bite through skin, exactly uh, what you want to get when you're uh, judging chicken. We had uh, overall a really good turn in of chicken. I thought number one and number three were probably the best on the table. Um, they were both very moist. The uh, juices were just kind of dripping out as soon as you took a bite. Uh, we had a leg, which was kind of new to me, but uh, it was it was pretty close to spot on with the leg. Um, just maybe a little dry in my particular piece. The lowest scoring one that I had was a real thin piece of a chicken breast and uh, had a fuel taste in mind. I don't know if it's just where it was when it was cooked, but kind of fuel taste to me and uh, is also just really dry. So that was probably the lowest scoring for me. I agree with everybody so far. The, the top three were just spot on. I've never given three nines to chicken before because I don't consider that my favorite meat. But uh, it was they were really good. Um, I, I agreed about the funny taste on some of the ones at the bottom. Uh, I found the last one too spicy, and he loved it because it was so spicy. <laughs> Yeah, overall, this was one of the best chicken turn-ins I've experienced, really. Um, uh, there was only uh, a couple of pieces that had some cooking issues. One, uh, the breast fillet was just a little bit over, uh, and, and the, uh, the fifth uh, thigh here, uh, that was definitely over. Um, in general, though, the flavor with one and two was outstanding, um, and I did love number six, entry number six, because it was a great color. It had bite through skin, and uh, it offered a lot of full flavor, and I tend to appreciate the spices more maybe than some others. So. Okay, um, I do agree. The first three were really close. Um, this was one of the best chickens turn-ins turn I've experienced. I really enjoyed number three. That was my favorite. Um, it did have a little bit of heat, but not too much and a good smoke flavor. And my least favorite was number five. It was overcooked and it just didn't have as much flavor as I expected it to. Uh, the chicken breast number four was a little bit dry, but I did like the sauce, the flavor of the sauce on the outside. Twenty-two, baby. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, don't worry about it. How are you gonna get the last two in there? I'll show you. Double stack. <laughs> 
glass that was too. more my um subtle way of saying there's two more that needs to go in there <laughs> or more or more I like you. You go well, those judges now. Is it already on? Yep. Okay, the best was number five. It was perfectly cooked, it was tender, it had a fantastic flavor, and it pulled off the bone easily, but didn't fall apart. The one that needs the most improvement, I guess I would say, is number six. It was a little undercooked. It was a little difficult coming off the bone. It had a pretty good flavor, but could uh, have a little more spiciness to it. Okay, my, no my favorite was also number four. Um, the flavor was excellent. Uh, couldn't have cooked a more perfect rib. Um, but for me, the one that um, needed a little more improvement was number two. It looked good, tenderness was good, but it was lacking a little bit in flavor. Still a good rib, but but not quite as good as the others. Okay, uh, my favorite of these uh, would be number four again. It was per uh, cooked perfect. Uh, the flavor was, uh, profile was uh, great on it. And my least uh, of the six is, is number two. Uh, it was way overcooked and uh, had a pretty good flavor, just uh, overcooked. Uh, <laughs> my favorite was number four because it was delicious and it had a good smoky flavor my least favorite was number three because I think it might have been undercooked um, it was a little tough and the seasoning on it had an earthy flavor which I did not enjoy my favorite uh, rib was number four as well. Uh, the flavor profile was very, very nice. A um, little bit of heat with a little bit of sweetness pulled cleanly off the bone. Um, my least favorite was number six. It was definitely undercooked, uh, very chewy to even bite through to even get to towards the bone. My favorite was number four. I agree the profile, flavor profile was nice, sweet, had a good bite, came loose from the bone, the bone dried nice. Least favorite was number six. It was undercooked. It was the rib bone itself was just not a good bone entry to put in. For the pork category, my two favorite uh, favorites were number two and number five. Uh, by far, I thought they had the better taste and uh, tenderness. Um, number one for me was my least favorite. Uh, it was dry, quite dry. And number five was my favorite. It was tender. It tasted good. It, I don't know, it was just balanced very right for me. Uh, I like number three, four, and five. They were all three uh, very, very tasty. Uh, number one was a little on the dry side, but uh, overall pretty good. In pork, uh, number two was my favorite. It was cooked uh, precisely to the right temperature, had a good flavor. Uh, number four was uh, a little bit dry and uh, not the flavor that I'd like in my pork. I enjoyed number five the most. It hit on flavor and tenderness. Number four was what I thought was the weakest piece of meat on the plate. I didn't enjoy it at all. I agree also. Number five was my favorite of the samples we were provided. Uh, very good flavor, good tenderness. Uh, number six, good flavor, a little overcooked. Number four was my least favorite. <laughs>
get him in there. She'll take care of it. Where we go? 125. Mm. The least thing I can say is not going to fall apart. That's a good thing. You could use it as a tow rope, but... <laughs> right. It won't fall apart. There's a difference. Yeah. Jeez, babe. Well... Here, sorry, but it was like dripping. It was about ready to drip right straight into your eyeball. No, there's still like, one there. That wouldn't have been good. Oh, here. It's gonna sting. You know what? At this point, you don't care? Yeah. What do you think? I like number two. It had a really good flavor. Had a pretty good tenderness to it. Uh, my favorite piece of brisket. Number three had no flavor. Was tough. I just wasn't a good piece of meat at all. And number four was a surprising one. It, it looked burnt. Didn't look very appetizing, but turned out to be pretty good. I thought four was uh, pretty good, and uh, two was uh, right behind it. Uh, definitely the least favorite of the bunch is number three. Uh, just no elasticity, bland on the flavor. Overall on the samples, it looked like the first three samples to me didn't have much of a shine to it. If it has a good shine to it, that's usually an indication it's going to be some moist meat. I didn't see that in those first three samples. On number four, the color was a little bit too dark. It was on the other side of being dark enough, but it really had a good surprising flavor, probably my favorite. Um, the last one was a little bit on the tough side. Uh, the favorite of the day was number two for me. Uh, the sample that I had had excellent smoke flavor. It was moist. Uh, the color was great on it. Uh, the least of the four was number three. Uh, it was tough, a little dry, and very bland in flavor. And number four was uh, overall pretty good flavor after uh, the darkness. It looked like it was going to be burnt, but turned out to have a nice flavor and nice tenderness to it. And most of the meats offered today were overcooked. I agree with everyone else on the flavor for number four, even though it didn't get high marks from me on appearance. Um, and I thought number three came the closest on um, the tenderness category, uh, but then the taste was uh, just very bland. Number two was good on smoke, uh, good on uh, pull test. Uh, number six, though, I did like the pepper on that. It uh, did have a good flavor, of, uh, it had a good little bit of heat to it, which I do like. Uh, number four, I agree, was real dark, um, very, very dark, and also a very thicker cut piece of meat. It was a little bit concerning that it would be tough, but it was actually quite tender and, and uh, uh, pulled uh, very well. Uh, the worst could be a mix-up between one couple of them. They, they were dry and very tough and, and uh, not, not a good presentation today. <laughs>